Mill Ciders, Clan McFanny. Yeah, it really is called that. And uh, now this is a strange one. Um, it's uh, it's made by Walk Mill, who make a number of ciders. Uh, they're based in um, Dumfries or somewhere. Just discovered them um, a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to try. I'm going to review the other ones. I thought I'd start with this one uh, since it's, it's kind of the daftest one they've got. Um, the orange label is a bit of a clue. Uh, it doesn't say anything about it here, but this is actually an uh, iron, iron brew flavoured cider. It's um, probably not allowed to call itself iron brew flavoured cider for trademark reasons. Um, and, but if there's some small print on the side and uh, there's something there about containing iron brew flavouring. Although not iron brew spelled the, the proper way. Um, and I've got some iron brew here because uh, I want, wanted to do a bit of a comparison um, with, with the real stuff and even try alternative iron brew cider which I'm going to mix with this strong uh, western cider 50-50 and see how that comes out. See if that tastes any better than um, the Walk Mills attempt. Right, so let's crack it open. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm getting, uh, definitely getting an iron brew aroma from it. Not terribly strong, but it definitely smells more like iron brew than it does cider. Um, now it's pouring to a colour which is... I should have poured it in the wrong glass, let me just pour it in this glass. Yeah, that's uh, it's like a watered down iron brew cider. I guess that's the kind of colour you'd expect. Um, got a reasonable amount of, amount of bubbles in it. Um, usual sort of small head for for a cider. And um, oh yeah, definitely getting the brew, the kind of um, spiciness of iron brew, getting in the nostrils. Yep, it, well, it tastes like iron brew, but um, not as sweet. I suppose the cider part of it is um, tempering the sweetness. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, definitely, if you like iron brew, I think you'd like this. Um, it does taste a little kind of like iron, not, not the real iron brew, but, but um, you know, one of the other, other sort of um, cheap brands of iron brew you can get. Um, that's what it reminds me of. You know, you're not getting the full brew strength which you get from from the real thing, especially at the, the glass bottle. So, just as a comparison, I'm gonna crack this open and let's try it. First of all, I'm gonna try it on its own compared to the Clan McFanny. Don't know who came up with that name, by the way. Right. Well, the real brew is it's fizzier and sweeter. Um, as I say, you'd expect that because this is uh, this is actually a cider. Um, yeah, I I I like it. Um, I kind of wish it would be a bit bit more fizzy because then it would be. Like the real thing. I mean, the one thing about iron brew is it, it, it's a great, it's it's kind of ultra fizzy. The, the bubbles got your nose when you drink it. And um, but just lastly, I'm going to try putting some of this in the iron brew to see if just mixing cider and iron brew works, and if it's as good as the cider that Walkmills have come up with. So I guess that's about 50-50. <clears throat> top it up a little bit. With that. Okay. Now this cider is 8.4%, so so that brings it down to a sort of 4.2% 4, 4 mixture, 50-50. Which is roughly what this is. 
actually that tastes not bad. Um, you might think it's crazy to make cyan brewed cider, but no, it, it works all right. Um, how does it compare to this? Well, um, not, yeah, um, quite similar. And um, I suppose you could uh, try different ciders. I, I picked this one because it was the strongest. Um, but yeah. So, <clears throat> I I think for what it's attempting, it's it's good. Um, it's relatively expensive given the, you know the small size of the bottle. Um, I would definitely give it a go if you're if you're an iron brew fan or a cider fan looking for something a bit different. Um, would I go out and buy it again? Not so sure about that. Um, I'm not really into the sort of um, kind of novelty ciders, you know, the flavoured fruit ciders, and I kind of class this along with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, for what it is, for it's what for what it's attempting to do, yeah, not bad at all. But um, you know, you can always try the homemade version. Thanks for watching.